whoop whoop hey guys it's warm connell 007 here and um, welcome back to the channel um in this video guys we're going to go over equipment in doodle world um what it does um what exactly stats it gives you and how to get them um so you've probably noticed in my last video i used wolf freeze as an example in my showcase if you haven't checked the video out do check it out it's an absolutely fantastic doodle um but basically i had all the equipments lined out um so when you have equipment there's three sections you've got helmets amulets and artifacts um each of these are individual so you can't really have like three helmets on on a doodle it doesn't work like that um you basically have to have one of each and you want to stock them all in. Now, where equipment is completely different to Pokemon Lumen Legacy, for instance, um, you would only have items only. Um, we have items and equipment. I'll cover items in another video, but I wanted to go over equipment because it's probably more important than items, in my opinion, for Doodle World. Um, but if you look at it here, um, if you went into, let's say, my Wolf Freeze has Ice Pack and Globby has Ice Pack, if I go to do a competitive match, um, it won't be allowed because of um, item clause, um, competitive item clause, where you can only have one of each. Equipment doesn't work that way, so basically every single doodle could have the exact same equipment. It's absolutely fine. So if you think about it, every doodle, you know, if you've got six doodles, you're going to have to have 18 pieces of equipment. So you need to understand what each does, how it's going to benefit your doodle, if it's right for your doodle. And on top of that, um, you need to you need to know where to get your equipment from. So it is really really important you understand this. Um, so um, how am I going to explain this to you? Yeah, guys, I'm going to use a spreadsheet. So there's ten helmets. So we'll go over the helmets first. We've got Doodad, Magnificent Top Hat, Headleaf, uh, Bull Cut, Epic Shades, Feathered Hat, Gleamish Cap, Theater Mask, Horned Headband, uh, Marshmallow Fedora. Um, anything in green is a positive. Red's a negative. So as you can see, uh, we'll go top from bottom. Doodad is ten melee attack and five melee defense. Magnificent Top Hat will give us twenty att attack and also 15 speed and but it drops your physical defense by 20. Um, Headleaf gives you 10 speed. Uh, Bull Cut gives you um, 6 physical defense, uh, 6 magical defense and 6 speed and with a drop of coolness by 10. Um, Epic Shades um, will give you uh, 15 HP and minus 5 defense, um, 25 coolness. Feathered Hat gives you 8 on attack and magical defense, minus 8 on magical attack. Uh, Gloomish Cap, um, 8 on HP, uh, 8 on uh, Magical Attack. Uh, Theater Mask will give you uh, 10 Defense, 10 Magical Attack, and minus 8 Speed. Uh, Horned Headband will give you 15 HP, and minus 5 Attack. Uh, Marshmallow Fedora gives you 10 uh, Magical Attack, and 5, uh, as you can see, Magical Defense. So that's kind of what they all do. So you need to make sure you got the Mario, the right things up, for instance. So if you look at, let's say the Magnificent Top Hat, if you've got something that's going to be quite fast and is good in attack, well, Magnificent Top Hat makes sense. If you say you have something that needs a bit of bulk um, in terms of HP, you might put on a horned headband, but if it's like a magical attacker where it's got minus five attack, which it might not use because it uses magical attacks. So marrying up the right way. So that's the the helmets now i'm going to explain the other ones and then i'm going to explain where well actually i'll tell you what i'll tell you where you can get all of these first of all so with the doodad um you will be able to get the doodad on borbo okay so borbo for instance um, appears on uh right one um really really frequently which is pretty cool so if you don't know what borbo is I will show you right now okay so I'm gonna take you through this so if you look here uh, Borbo is this bird here I would recommend go to Sketchville go to Route 1 chain it until it gets it um, it has a 10% chance so picking up a doodad should be pretty simple okay um, the next thing is the magnificent uh, top hat um, you'll basically get that um, that item is held, I do believe, by um, Flitum, which is this bad boy. Um, so again, chain it until you see the item. That's what I would suggest. Um, it's in route three, is it? I believe. Um, I always get the right numbers wrong. It's um, off the one right after uh, Lakewood, um, to be fair. 
Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's right three, right three. Um, so you can pick the, the magnificent top hat um, up there. Um, next on the list that we had, so if we look at that again, so doodad, borbo, magnificent top hat is flitum, okay. Um, headleaf guys is you, you find it on Springling, um, which is at the crossroads, if memory serves. This little chap here will carry it. Um, it is pretty simple to, to get hold of that, to be honest with you. Um, the next thing then on our list was the bowl cut. Um, so the bowl cut is held by Wiglet. Um, it has a 50% chance. So if you don't know what Wiglet is, I don't know what game you've been playing. Everybody knows what Wiglet is. Where is Wiglet? Have I went past Wiglet? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Um, I'm pretty sure. No, I mustn't have went past it. There's there. So Wiglet will have a 50% chance of carrying the, the, the bowl cut um, that simple. Um, so next is Epic Shades. Um, Epic Shades is held by, is it Christic? I always pronounce it wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it's it's Christic. Um, I do think that the Doodle, is it the Doodlepedia on Christic as well? So let's just double check here. Christic, um, as you can see, you can also pick it by doing its tasks. You can get Epic Shades equipment, um, but it will also carry it as well. So it's definitely worthwhile checking the equipment on it, no problem at all. Um, the next item on that list, guys, is the feathered hat. You should get that naturally, to be honest with you. Um, you should get that from doing the, the, the quest within the, the Crystal Caverns, I do believe. Um, Gloomish Cap, guys, you will never believe where you actually get the Gloomish Cap from. Um, it, it will absolutely completely surprise you, but you actually find it on Gloomish. Um, so Gloomish is found on Graphite, um, on the way to Graphite Forest, um, just off Crossroads. Um, so go through Crossroads, go to Graphite Forest, and Gloomish will, will have a chance of holding that. Um, I do believe it's a 25% chance. Um, the next thing is the Theater Mask. So the Theater Mask is held by Drum Mask, if we can find it here. I'd love a search bar, would probably save us so much time. And I bet you if I'm past it, I would probably have, yep. So, it's held by Dramask. It's, um, I do believe, about 10% if memory serves. Um, let me see where I want. Yeah, Dramask. This chap here. So, this is found in the grass at um, Vaughn's Sweet Von Sweetsville. Can nearly talk today. So, definitely worthwhile picking up that. Um, the next item then is the, the horned headband. It's found on um, Calamander, which is here. Um, Calamander you will is the right rare in the Sweet Factory. Um, it has a 33% chance of carrying the headband. Um, so that one should be pretty straightforward. Um, but that said, I say pretty straightforward. I, I would chain this because it's a, a right rare on it. And you can't use a swarm snack to generate calamander either, um, so it's a wee bit tricky. But you know, definitely worthwhile trying to chain this up to to pick it up. To be honest with you, um, the last item on the list is obviously the, as you can see, is the marshmallow fedora, which is here. So the marshmallow fedora um, is very easily achieved. Again, you are going to be in. Um, the sweet factory it's on Schmello, so it's actually on one of the recently added uh, doodles into the game um, which is here just if you haven't seen it before I'll just show you so it's on Schmello here so if you use the your magnifying glass and if you don't know how to check for equipment guys um, I can't encourage you enough to buy the magnifying glasses because they're so important so when you go on the about literally just click this and then go into the equipment to see it um that's probably the, the easiest and most simple way so that's the helmets guys the next thing i'm going to take you through is the amulets okay so 
on the amulets we've got the watch and call it crystal shard mini camera scrap paper swag juice juniper necklace rock candy ruby pendant stone necklace and vial of tears um watch them call it as you can see um anything that it's doing there guys it's obviously impacting and it's actually in red if it's negative and green if it's good so watch them call it for instance you're dropping your defensive magical defense but you can 10 speed crystal shard 15 magical defense at 5 speed mini camera minus 5 attack um, 8 defense and 5 speed scrap haters mi minus 10 across all stats uh, swag juice is 10 hp 8 magical attack and 10 coolness uh, juniper necklace is 8 hp and 8 speed rock candy is 7 across hp magical attack and magical defense ruby pendant is 7 in attack and 5 in speed Stone Necklace is um, 6 across uh, HP attack, defense, melee attack, melee, not melee, def not melee attack, sorry, magical attack, um, magical defense, and minus 20 speed. And Violet Tears is 10 on HP defense, um, magical defense, and minus 10 on your attack and magical attack. So, as you can see, guys, there's really this is where you should kind of be thinking what's going to partner up well with your doodle. So, where do we get all of these nice beautiful equipments from well i'll go through them now okay so watch my call up you'll get from gecko so let me close this for you so if you don't know gecko it's found in the sewers uh liquid and i shall show you here if we go across so this is gecko so it's got a 10% chance and you'll find it in the sewers at Lakewood guys. It's literally that, that straightforward. Um, the next one is the Crystal Shard. Now, the Crystal Shard is held by um, Glimmue. Now, Glimmue is the right rare at Crossroads. So what I would recommend you to do is, um, it's really, really hard to find. I would actually urge you to buy Swarm Snacks. Uh, swarm snacks are like 600 gems and it will um, get right rare so I would encourage you to do that um, and then chain it and then you'll you'll find they'll come more frequent if you don't get it the crystal shard during the swarm um, at least you've got a chain there which means the Glimmue, Glimmue um, will obviously appear more often um, so that is probably the best way to try and get your hands on the, the crystal shards to be honest with you um, the next item is the mini camera. Um, you, you get that from doing the perfect picture of the fruit toad in Liquid Town with the person beside um, the person beside the Liquid Town, the healing center, um, which is pretty good. Um, and also you can get it in the, the help center from Graphite Lodge. Um, scrap paper, paper you find in the bookshelf in the gamer's house in Liquid. Um, so let me show you where that is because not everybody knows about this and there's actually two things i can show you here while i'm doing that so if we go to lakewood let me zip across and once we carry anything it does but not here so let me show you this because this is really important because there's two there's actually two items that you actually get in the, the one place in lakewood believe it or not um and i was actually really surprised um i was on discord earlier on and somebody was looking for the other piece of equipment and they didn't even know about it um i was absolutely in shock um that they didn't considering that they have actually probably maybe five six times the amount of hours that i've done in doodle world um and they live on it um one would say they are a doodle worldian um they are also a discordian um so if we go here, take the subway, the liquid. I think the subway is so handy. It's a really good feature in this game. Okay, so I'm going to show you where to get the scrap paper, um, but also, um, is it an amulet as well? Well, I'll show you where 
you can get both of them here at the moment. So when you get the liquid, if you go to this last house on the right, Okay, so, over here, in this bookshelf, if you click on it, this is where you get the, the scrap paper. Now, there is an artifact here as well, where you just speak to this guy, um, and if you keep speaking to him like three or four times, I've already got it, um, you can also get the computer mouse artifact, and we'll, we'll go over that in a minute anyway, but where were we? Um, we were... So we've covered the watch McCullough. So Gekko for watch McCullough. Glimu for uh, the crystal shard. Mini cameras, the quests. Scrap paper I've just showed you. Swag juice. Okay. So swag juice is kind of a tricky one. Okay. So swag juice is held by the swaggiest doodle in the land. Yes. I know what you're thinking right now. Who is the swaggiest doodle in the land? Um, well, it's actually Squared. <laughs> um, so, Squared will have us. The, the thing is, Squared is obviously in the Crystal Cavern. It's the right rare. You can use Swarm Snacks to, to get it um, as well, but there is also another way of um, getting Swag Juice, and that is actually by doing Gammon's tasks. If you do Gammon's tasks, um, you actually get the swag juice equipment, so that might actually be a quicker way. Um, both take a wee bit of time, but you know, either way, they they are both pretty much worth getting. To be honest with you, um, the next thing to get is um, the juniper, the juniper necklace, and that is by doing uh, junipyro's tasks. Now, the problem with junipyro is it's a seasonal um, doodle. It's actually no longer in the the wild in terms of swarms because it was coming in swarms before. Um, let me see if where we are. Is it even there? We go. But you can trade for this, um, but you won't be able to capture it, so you're not going to be able to do the quest. And you would actually get two juniper necklace equipments from that. So if you're like me and you didn't catch it in the wild. Um, until it's added into the game, you're either going to have to wait in a swarm, or um, you're just going to have to kind of trade for the, the Juniper Necklaces, unfortunately. Um, which is the bit of a pain um, for that one, to be honest with you. Um, the next thing is the Rock Candy. Now, Rock Candy is on Grim Sugar. Um, Grim Sugar um, appears in Von Sweetsville and also in the factory. Um, it has a 10% chance of carrying the rock candy, guys. Um, so it, it's usually pretty easy to get your hands on, to be honest with you. Um, the next thing is the ruby pendant and the stone necklace. Um, they both appear in the, the social park. Um, you basically just go to the shop in the social park, um, which I will show you now for those two. If you don't know where they are, I will show you now. So basically those two are, are quite easy to, to pick up. Now, the last one out of um, all of the amulets is the Vial of Tears. Now, with the, the Vial of Tears, there's... Um, well, the, you, you need to basically be able to, to get Squonk. So, the Vial of Tears, you need to be getting the Squonk Swarms. Um, but again, if you haven't already looked at them, I do believe you also get them from completing the tasks for Squonk. So let me just double check here when we go in. If you go to Dolpedia. I know Squonk's quite far down. So yeah, if you complete the Squonk's tasks, you'll get two vials of equipment. So you're going to have to watch out for swarms. And that means you need to keep your chat open to keep an eye on it. 
Um, and just to show you guys, if you do, if you haven't seen on the social park, um, it's the one that says equips, which is here. You can pick up the stone necklace and ruby pendant here. As simple as that. You can also get the violet tears and the juniper necklace as well. So if you haven't um, got juniper like me, you can buy it all basically here, which is quite good to get. So you actually aren't actually locked out into it, which is good. Now the next thing's in. So we've now had a look at the helmets. We've now looked at the amulets. So there's ten helmets. There's ten amulets. Um, the last out of the three sections is the artifacts. Oh, sorry guys, I had that on there by the way. Didn't realize I had to cover it. Yeah, so if you click here, you can pick up Juniper Necklace. You can pick up the Violet Ears. So you can buy it as well. Ruby Pendant. And the Stone Necklace. Okay. Now I'll go into the others two that are there as well because the next thing we need to do is look at is your artifacts Which is here So there's 12 artifacts in total it's guys. There's um, sad pebblet computer mouse amber trap fly Beach ball thingamajig decorative katana oakwood staff fawn spot teal stick pizza slice uh, white chocolate and scrap cardboard so as you can see guys, again, anything negatives in red, anything positives in green. Um, very simple and straightforward there. Um, as you, you've already seen, the, the white chocolate and scrap cardboard can both be purchased um, very simply um, in the social park. So those two, those bottom two there can be purchased, as you can see for the stats for what each of them do. Um, the pizza slice is usually pretty easy to get hold of to be honest with you so if i bring this across here i'll show you this so pizza slice is usually on, on munchies but it's also on pizza as well so if you go to vaughn's sweet uh in the factory munchies appears pretty frequently to be honest with you um but pizza also carries it as well so if you don't know them just to put a picture to the faces. Munchies will carry pizza. And so will Hitza. Uh, Hitza is found in Chess Valley. Uh, Munchies is obviously in the factory. Uh, Hitza has a higher rate of catching it, but it's a right rare. Munchies is more frequent, but it's got a lower rate of carrying the equipment. So I personally would probably go towards Munchies, to be honest with you, in this case, um, just to get that found. Um, the next one then, sorry, is, so we're going from the bottom way up, the stick. So with the stick, it's your 10% chance of getting found on mass crocus. So if you don't know mass crow, mass crow is found in Von Sweetsville, which is here. So this should be pretty much easy to, to find it. Now, it does have a 10% chance of carrying it. Um, which is which is pretty straightforward. Um, the next thing is the the fawn sprite teal. If you don't know about fawn sprite teal, it, it's basically held by fawn sprite, which is on the way to um, graphite forest. Let's see if I can find it for you. This chap here will carry it. Um, you know, I, I do believe there's a good chance on it. Now, the next one. So we're working away from the, the bottom up. So we've covered scrapped cardboard at the bottom, white chocolate we've covered, pizza slice we've covered, stick we've covered, fawn sprite tail, oakwood staff. Now, this is held by Party Bug. Um, Party Bug is in Graphite Forest and is the right rare. You cannot use swarm snacks to generate it. Um, you might want to kill one Party Bug and then use a lesser chain ticket just to get them to be more frequent to be honest with you um if you don't know what a party bug looks like you shouldn't play through the world um decorative katana you should pick up naturally on a quest it should be pretty straightforward uh thingamajig is held by bun suite if you don't know what bun suite is uh, I'll, I'll be amazed um bun suite is obviously the little rabbit thing rabbit 
so bond suite will carry equipment as well i would encourage you to go to route one which is just after sketchville at the start um should be easy enough to pick up um the next on the list is the beach ball um the beach ball is held by our dear friend globby um which you should be able to, to find pretty easy um globby actually has 100 percent chance of holding the beach ball so every globby will, will actually hold a beach ball believe it or not um amber trapped um fly it can be held by rosebug ross coon nibblin and toxic pupa um you'll also get it um from i think it's from is it is it flitum um let me just double check so it's held by loads um let me just check is it flitum's doodlepedia task did you get it from yeah if you do flitum's you get three amber trap fly equipments as well so that's another one that you could pick up quite easy the computer mouse guys i've already showed you the mpc guy in liquid um that we talked to you just keep annoying them um in that house that that i showed you um where we were before for the the loose paper um it's really really simple you just go to him and he'll get you the computer mouse and then finally guys the sad pebblet the sad pebblet you'll just pick up on pebblet it's that simple so those are basically um that's basically everything that we've we've got to cover for you so there's all your equipments all covered i hope that helps you um i'm gonna leave it off there i'm gonna say whoop whoop i'm warm connell 007 if you have any questions leave in the comment section and i'll see you next time bye bye